What's up guys, a real quick one this week, I'm going to show you how to split your landscape photos for Instagram quick smart. What's up guys, my name is Jed Debray, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. If you're new here, have a think about subscribing. Once you've had said think, hit that subscribe button, give it a big fat thumbs up because it is all that helps this channel grow. And the best thing, it's free for you to do and it really helps and means the world. So you've got an absolute banger, you want to post it to Instagram, but it was shot in landscape and you don't want to post it in just that wide, small little box. You want more real estate on the viewer's screen, and that's fair enough. You want that carousel life, that flick, flick, flick. You want to grab the attention of the viewer, have them spending more time on your content, telling the algorithm that you've got some pretty hot shit. Because when you post multiple photos in a carousel, you get more chance of grabbing someone's attention. If I flick past and for whatever reason, I miss your first photo, there's a high chance the algorithm might spit out photos two, three, four, etc. to me later, and then I'm engaged with your content once again. So we're gonna to have to post this in split view. And how do we do that? Well, we're gonna take our photo down into Lightroom. We're gonna edit it up, get it all looking all fresh, and then we're gonna hit R on our keyboard. This is gonna bring up the resizing tool. We're gonna to head up to the top, we're gonna to choose the aspect ratio, and we're gonna choose 16 by 10. We're gonna drag this out to cover the whole area that we'd like to cover in our final shot, and we're gonna hit OK, and that will crop our image down for us. If you're on a Mac machine, you're gonna hit Command E. If you're on Windows, Control E. This is gonna take our image with all the edits and cropping applied and open it up in Photoshop for us. Once this sucker is in Photoshop, head up to the Crop tool, right click, come down to the Slice tool. Then we need to slice our image. Start outside above your image, click, hold and drag all the way across to the middle. When you get to the middle, it will snap into position and give you that purple line. If you release before there, don't worry, you can just grab it and drag it across and it will snap into the middle for you. It's very important we do end up in the middle of our image, otherwise it's not gonna flow on perfectly. Then head up to File, Export, and come across to Save for Web. Hit the minus until you can see both sides or select Fit in View. This will be able to show you the preview of both the left and the right hand side of the image. The left will automatically be selected. On the right hand side of our control panel, we wanna make sure up the top we have JPEG selected as a file type. A lot of the time GIF is the standard, so make sure we change that. Then on the quality, choose maximum and 100. Down onto the image size, you can change this if you want. If you change the height down to 1350, this will give you the maximum dimensions that Instagram allows without giving you some sort of compression. You'll also save a little bit of space because your files will be smaller. I personally haven't noticed a loss of quality when I'm uploading larger files. Have a look at my gram. All of these are high res A7R4 photos or maybe even an A7S3 full dimensions with Instagram's compression. It's Instagram, no one's really pixel peeping and doing any of that, so do you. Go back to the preview window, select the right hand side and make all of those exact same changes to the right hand side of the image. Once you've done that, hit save, give it a name, choose your location, and it's time to transfer our files over to our device. I personally am gonna use AirDrop because your boy's back on that iOS life and boy does it feel good. I knew I missed iMessage, I knew I missed AirDrop, but AirDrop is something else. When, you, when you've had it and you don't have it and then you get it back, it feels great. <laughs> Once the files are on your phone, jump into Instagram and open up those files in a multi-pose. Be sure to hit the expanded view so it's not in the square, it is in the full size portrait. Make sure your left hand photo is selected as number one and your right hand photo is number two. If you swipe across, you'll probably see a little bit of a gap. Don't worry about that just yet. You've already edited this photo and it looks perfect. Bruh, hit next. Now before we write a caption and we send it, Go up, hit the preview tab, and swipe across and see how beautiful it looks. And if it doesn't look perfect, head back to the start of the video and see where you went wrong. Write your caption and post that sucker and watch people ask you, how'd you do that? How'd you, how'd you split those photos? Teach me. And you can tell them some Aussie bloke over on YouTube helped me and your friends can be a part of this community. Speaking of telling all your friends, that is today's music suggestion. It is tell all your friends by Taking Back Sunday. Enjoy, you're welcome. If you guys have any music suggestions for me, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know what my audience is vibing to. What was that? <laughs> As always, my name is still Jed Dobro. I know that's so weird. Anyway, give it a big fat thumbs up if you'd like to support the channel. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. Check if you have the bell dinged. And if not, ding it. All right, see you in the next one. Bye. That was weird. Bye. <laughs>